Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. I'm sorry we missed this weekend's Centurion's Team 2 content, the objectives, the play review, so on and so forth. But I did go away, visit some family, had some fun, and went to watch my local football team. But we are back now, and we are blessed with the option, level 10. I'm going to butcher this man's name the whole video, man. So I'm actually going to search up how to pronounce it. Uh, you got some solid options, is it... A one of you? Is that how you pronounce it? Uh, Van der Hayden, Zerke, you're clicking on this video. You know who we're taking. I think a one of you definitely looks like the best option here. A, a one of you. I actually said it right. I actually, you know what? I actually said it right. I'm proud of myself. For cheap, fast, and reliable coins, make sure to head on over to MMOEXP.com and use code DAVIS at checkout for 5% off your order. Taking a look at him, he is six foot two, so quite tall. High medium work rates only three star, three star. EA, it really wouldn't hurt just to give him a four star skills or even a four star weak foot, let alone make him four star, four star. But it is what it is. His pace of 87 is okay with good shooting. Uh, his passing, nothing crazy. Not a player you'll be wanting to play tick attack of football with. Dribbling wise, his agility, balance, and composure is pretty average, but he has got 90 reactions, which is fine. 93 hitting accuracy, 95 jump along with his incredible strength stats he is one of if not the best most reliable players when it comes i say best we've not used him yet but i'd assume he'd be one of the best most reliable players with his heading stats and also the power header play style when it comes to getting some headers from corners all right he's also got the chip shot which is underwhelming and he has got relentless which increases fatigue recovery during half time and extra time a little bit average it's okay though now the chem style there is a massive debate with this one okay now the reason i've got a hawk on him because you could debate that's such a pointless physical boost you may as well go for a hunter the reason i've got a hawk on him is because it, com it, it keeps him as a lengthy player okay if i was to put a hunter it would make him a mostly lengthy and the difference between mostly lengthy and normal lengthy is, is something that I've not really experienced too much. And do you know why? Because I've actually not used too many lengthy players, just lengthy players, right? So I'm going to try him with a Hawk in the first game, and then we might switch over to even an engine and, and see how he is as a mostly lengthy, but with that better agility and balance. So we'll try him on a Hawk chemistry style on lengthy first game, see how he is. If he's really good, we might not even change it because you don't want to change something that's not broken. Um, and then we'll see, maybe if he feels like a truck, we'll change him to mostly lengthy and an engine chem style. It's all, it's all about experimenting, right? He works as a lone striker in a 4-2-3-1 with Neymar, Rashford, and Rodrigo behind him. Let's get into it. Enough talking. One of ye. In the box of what he gets a shot through, ladies and gentlemen. Three minutes into his debut, he's on the score sheet. I originally wanted to give it to him first, but I think I don't even know who it went to before him. Someone else before him. But we got there in the end. He gets a shot through. I mean, it's a shot that you expect every striker to score, but he did very well to stay on side. I don't want to trigger that run. Go on. Let's see. He's fast. He's lengthy. Maybe not a player that you want to be on the byline with because his dribbling isn't the best, but it works. We get it through Neymar, and ladies and gentlemen, that's 2 0. I'm surprised. And one of you, not the player, as I said, you really want on the edge of a box with a left stick dribbling, trying to give it into the box. He's more so the player you want to give it to in the box, but he picks up a pre assist there. Turns out my opponent has had enough as well. We'll go into game number two. We'll keep a hawk on him because he did perfect. Picked up a goal, was very involved in the second. Let's get into the next game. on full score of one he gets a shot through it's a rocket he wasn't in the box for a corner which i am actually going to change at half time and up the players in the box so he goes into the box because you want him to be in there instead he's on the edge of the box and it falls very nicely to him and it was a rocket of a shot Oh, that's a good tackle, man. Definitely felt pretty heavy in the box there, kind of as expected, right? We did manage to get the pass through to Rodrigo, though, but we do get tackled. Wanting you from a tough angle. And that's a penalty. I was going to say, that seemed pretty late to me. Didn't look like he got the ball. And it is a penalty. Now, Awaniye won the penalty. What's his actual penalty stat? 84? 
you know what? Screw it. Let's take it, man. He won us a penalty, so we'll take the penalty. We are going to the right, and we score top bins. That is a brace for a wanna ye. We love it, man. We love it. Won the penalty. Call it a stat pad, but I think that's fair. Oh, my days. Look at that touch. I'm so erect right now. That touch is absolutely incredible, man. Absolutely phenomenal from a one. That's a hat trick as well, bro. That's a hat trick. Now heading into game three here, I know I said I'll try him out with an engine, but I think he's just doing so well with the Hawk. And as a lengthy, he seems pretty fast, especially over time as a lengthy accelerate type does. I was always taught do not change something if it's not broken. And he's definitely broken, but in a good way with a hawk chem style so i think it'd be silly for us to change it up when it's working for us we're going to commit to a hawk and he's played a final game with the hawk chem style still on him here we go you know what the presence of a wanna yevia although we didn't get to it he saw the absolute statue of a man coming towards him six foot two very chunky muscly and he's like nah you know what i'm cracking under pressure and that's why the ball went out trust me that's what happened and now we can do this on a trip. <laughs> okay, we're not doing that again. <laughs> One nil down. You guys know the drill. You guys know the drill. A one of ye, there it is. There it is, we're not trailing for long. It was part of the plan. I knew where the ball was going to go. I knew I wanted to play a switch to the man with 95 jumping and 93 hitting accuracy. And the, what's this play style called? Power hitter. That's the one. Oh my days. That is incredible. So unlucky to miss there. But you cannot fault. That run was incredibly well timed. I know you can make the debate. Should have scored it. But at the same time, first touch with pressure on us. want to yeah, there it is that is an amazing header from that angle still got it on target still challenged for keeper we really need to score this it's not looking good boys 85th minute four one down on i want to yeah. turn him that's beautiful near post that that is an amazing finish it's just a consolation goal too little too late against a very good opponent to be fair my opponent is a very good player 4-2 scoreline I, I don't think it was the most flattering i think it was definitely a closer game than the scoreline suggests but hey, that is another fabulous performance from a, a one of you. Six goals in three games for the man of the hour, Mr. A one of you. Didn't pick up an assist. Not that that's important because he is an absolute bagsman. If you look on over to the left, you will see highlighted in green his pros being his work rates, 93 sprint speed, 93 shot power, 88 finishing, 89 attacking positioning, 90 reactions, 93 hitting, and 96 strength. His cons being three stars free star and 77 composure the free star free star makes them very predictable in the box and when you are going to be playing someone that is good know how to defend a tall striker and by knowing how to defend a tall striker it often involves having a big center back like Virgil van Dijk or something like that um, but this card right here from corners, you guys saw it as well with his hitting accuracy, with his jumping, which we don't actually have under under pros, but it is also a pro, is 95 jumping. Mr. Reliable when it comes to scoring hitters from corners, and you will score several, multiple goals even from just scoring with him from corners. I think Hawk is what I used on him for the lengthy, obviously. You guys know how much I enjoyed that. But the thing is, I did for the chem style put Hawk slash engine. I wouldn't blame you if you put an engine chem style on him. If you want to make him a little bit more agile, I understand that completely. And I think, I mean, you just have to make that debate. Do you want more agile, but mostly lengthy? Or do you want that lengthy accelerate type and, and have him, I mean, he still goes to like the same pace with, with a Hawk than he does with an engine anyway. But I just think uh, I stuck with a Hawk. He worked well for me. So you guys can do what you want. And let me know if you do use an engine, how you like it on him. If for me, I definitely think without a doubt he is the best option to take from level 10. There's not really much of a debate to it. Very good card, and I did have quite a lot of fun. All right, it's been your boy Davis, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.